So you might be getting into this little error where you're getting this little connection failed problem on your iPhone. Now, what does this mean? Well, essentially, basically, if you're trying to connect a different device on your iPhone, whether it's AirPods, even a HomePod, AirPods Maxes, AirTags, any of these other any of these other Apple products, essentially what's going to be happening is your specific device needs to be able to communicate with those devices. So first of all, make sure that you're not tempering or tampering around with the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or putting your phone on airplane mode or turning your phone off or anything like that while you're connecting to those devices. So in an example, if I had AirPods, if I had AirPods or AirPods Maxes or whatever the case were, I could just go ahead and bring those AirPods with me, put them next to these, and as long as you don't, you know, hop out of it or you don't shut down those other devices, that is the number one reason why these problems occur. So make sure you're not messing around with your iPhone and make sure you're not messing around with those other devices while you're trying to pair them up. And that is the main reason and the main problem of why you're getting that connection fail problem. Now, let's say you're not messing around with them at all and none of the things are working. You're not able to connect to these devices at all still. Well, the other thing you're going to have to do for the most part is to update your iPhone. For a lot of different Apple products out there, if you're using the latest Apple Watch or latest AirPods or latest AirTags or whatever the case is, your iPhone has to be on the latest version of software if that product is brand new. For some products, if you're you know on the you know lowest version of iOS, so if you're on like iOS 15 when a new you know Apple device comes out now, some of them you may have to have a certain version of software. So what you want to do here is you want to make your way over to your iPhone settings just like this. You want to scroll down into General, which is right there. You want to click Software Update, and what you want to do here is you want to update your iPhone. Now, like I mentioned, this is probably going to end up fixing the problem for a majority of people out there. Whenever you have these types of issues, updating your iPhone can probably end up fixing it. Now, let's say you are trying to connect them, and let's say you already updated, and you try to repair them, and it's still not working. Well, in that case, it may not be an iPhone problem. It may not be a problem with your iPhone. It may be a problem with that device, and you may want to make sure that device is charged up. You want to make sure it's you know fully compatible and everything like that. And a majority of time, that will probably end up fixing itself out. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.